Leo. This will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 11th through September the 12th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for September the 11th through September the 12th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for September the 11th through September the 12th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for September the 11th through September the 12th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Leo, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have, really? The Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Leo, clarify the page of cups. For Leo, clarify the page of cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Leo, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Leo, you can tell me that you're apologizing to them because you hurt them. You can tell me they hurt you and they're apologizing to you. You can tell me that you're hurt, you found out it was a third party because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. You could also be hurt over some type of news concerning children. Leo, you have the King of Wands. This is you, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Leo, this is you. Clarify the King of Wands. For Leo, clarify the King of Wands. For Leo, what about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the King of Wands. For Leo, it is clarified with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor. For Leo, clarify the emperor. For Leo, clarify the emperor. For Leo, 
it is clarified with the king of swords gemini libra aquarius this king is a very intelligent analytical and logical king he only wants to deal with the truth the facts and the proof of the matter so this is about truthful communication and this is about making a decision could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Leo. Clarify the King of Swords for Leo. Clarify the King of Swords for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Leo, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now, Leo, you could be dealing with this Aries, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child, and they're coming in with this cup of love, and you're needing to make a decision on whether or not you can forgive and start new. Leo, you can tell me that you're wanting to take charge here, maybe come forth with truthful communication, and come in with this offer of new love and apologize because you caused this hurt. You could also tell me that you're making a decision because they had new love. They had a third party or you had new love, a third party. You have the three of swords again, child. So like I said, you can tell me that you're hurt because your feelings are hurt and you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this could be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense so excuse here. So Leo, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Leo, you could be standoff and shining and setting boundaries because they hurt you. They hurt your feelings. They hurt you with a third party. Or is you wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense because you hurt them? This reading could be vice versa. Leo, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Leo, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Leo, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Leo, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is a mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo... Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo. You want it to fall out of the deck and you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. 
could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant. For Leo, clarify the Hierophant. For Leo, clarify the Hierophant. For Leo. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles again. Like I said, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, playing in something, perfecting something here. Now, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition about forgiveness and working things out with them because they're coming in to apologize to you. You can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition about working things out with them because you're wanting forgiveness here. Mm -hmm. Leo, this could be work and maybe some type of feelings were hurt at work. Hmm. Leo, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Leo, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands. For Leo, clarify the 10 of Wands. For Leo, clarify the 10 of Wands. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So, Leo, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Leo, you can tell me you're burdened by this whole situation, this pain, this hurt that they cause you, and you just want to be single. But Leo, you can tell me you're burdened by the fact that you are single because you could be planning and contemplating on coming in to apologize here, explaining yourself and wanting to start new with them. So this reading could be vice versa. I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner, Leo. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says... I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Leo. And it says, I wish I had treated you better. I wish I had treated you better. Leo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 11th through September the 12th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.